running is good for you. And it's good for you in all sorts of ways. First and foremost, running is good for your cardiovascular system. It's a highly aerobic activity which utilizes both fatty acids and carbohydrates for energy. Going for a run will get your heart racing and blood pumping. And people who run or jog on a regular basis tend to have thicker left heart ventricles than people who live a more sedentary lifestyle. Now, that might sound like a bad thing, but actually it isn't. Actually, it's a very good thing. Because this makes their hearts more efficient and able to pump a larger volume of blood per beat which means they have a lower resting heart rate and a correspondingly lower risk of heart disease. Your heart is a muscle, so it becomes stronger as a result of exercise. And running has positive effects on a host of coronary risk factors, which may also help to explain why this type of exercise is associated with lower coronary death rates. Running is also good for your joints and muscles. It can help you to lose weight and lessen the load that your knees, hips, etc. have to carry around all the time. When you exercise, the cartilage in your hips, knees and ankles compresses and expands. Now, this draws in oxygen and flushes out any waste products, keeping the cartilage nourished and healthy. And in so doing, it lessens the risk of contracting osteoarthritis in old age. Running also strengthens the ligaments that helps to support your joints. And this makes them more stable and less susceptible to strains and sprains. Running and jogging is also good for your muscles. In fact, some of the body's largest muscles are in the legs. Specifically, your inner and outer thighs, your gluteus maximus, quads, hamstrings and calves. And rigorous exercise like running leads to micro tears in the muscle fibre. And this causes the body to rebuild those fibres to prevent further damage. And in so doing, it makes them bigger and stronger. Running also helps to strengthen your bones, making them less susceptible to injury in later life. Each stride you take when running creates stress on your bones as your feet touch the ground to propel you forward. This stress is higher on the bones than other daily activities like walking. Since bone is a living tissue, your body can sense the additional stress and bending from the load, and as a precaution, it activates a series of reactions to strengthen the bone to prevent injury to the bone tissue. As stress is sensed by your body, osteoblasts are sent to the surface of the bone being affected. Now, osteoblasts are cells from which the bone develops. As the osteoblasts migrate to the bone surface, they start modelling the bone to strengthen it. A matrix of protein develops between the cells, causing the bone to increase in density. And the greater the mineral density of the bone, the stronger it becomes. And the strength prepares the bone to more easily face the same amount of stress from running in the future. And this is all according to the good people at livestrong.com. And finally, running is good for your brain. It stimulates the creation of new nerve cells and blood vessels within the brain and it may help ward off Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Research at the University of Aberdeen found that the act of running triggers creative thinking. According to the researchers, your brain associates forward motion with the future. To maximise the effect, you should stick to a route you know well so that you don't have to worry about directions and can simply let your mind wander. Running also increases the activity in the hippocampus, the area of the brain that's responsible for learning. 
and it triggers the release of endorphins, stress release hormones that lead to a positive feeling in the body. Just some of the many reasons why going for a run can put a smile on your face.